Hey guys, just recently AMD has launched the cheaper B series motherboards for the current and next gen CPUs. And with a little bit of delay, now we have the most budget friendly A series. This right here is Asus Prime A520 MATX motherboard, which gets you a few benefits over its predecessors while still staying cheap. In this video, we'll go over the specs, see what comes in the box and talk about who the target audience is for this board. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's jump straight into it. What do you get with A series? Well, the short answer is not a lot. While it allows full compatibility between second and third gen Ryzen, you're limited to running them at stock only, as there are no overclock options here. And you certainly cannot run multiple graphics cards. What you do get is few faster USB ports over the last gen. In the box, we find the motherboard itself, two SATA cables, M.2 screws, IO shield, and manual with chipset CD. As I said earlier, no frills here. Looking at the motherboard itself, on the right hand side, we have four DIMM slots supporting dual channel DDR4 memory with speeds up to 4800 MHz and total capacity of maximum of 128 gigabytes. Below, we have PCIe Gen 3 times 16 slot and two PCIe Gen 3 times one slot. Just above, we have one NVMe drive port, which supports both PCIe Gen 3 and SATA modes. I like that it is a full size port so you can fit a large drive without any problem. With this chipset, you can install a maximum of four SATA drives. Connections are on the bottom right of the board. Across the board, we have a total of three fan headers, two at the top and one towards the middle. In regards to the front USB connections, you can have up to two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, that is the five gigabit versions, and four USB 2.0 ports. At the back, we have combo PS2 port, six USB ports, both USB 2 and USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Gigabit Ethernet port. For those who may also be using APU, there is a VGA, DVI and HDMI 2.1 port. And lastly, three audio connections. So who is this board for? Naturally, being a refresh for an A320, it can be used as a perfect upgrade path for people who are still using A320s and wanted to keep the costs low while upgrading to the Ryzen 3rd gen down the road. Or for somebody who's looking to build a budget-friendly machine, maybe even throw in an APU to further reduce the costs. Alternatively, it could be great for companies that need their staff to have PCs for general office work. If, on the other hand, you want to leverage their CPU overclocking, then you may need to look out for deals on B450 motherboards, as these do tend to drop to similar price point and will offer many more features. Ultimately, this board is made for people who require no thrills PC and can fit it in their tight budget. If you want to check out any of your items we've tested today, we'll leave the links in the description below. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.